Hey YouTube and welcome back to Diva Styles. In this video, I'm pretty much going to be showing you two different ways that you can do uh, banners. Both ways are pretty simple. Um, I'm going to be doing one to go with this shit bag that I just made. And if any of you are wondering, you know, how do you get the the glitter letters or the glitter um, border? I mean, it's it's pretty simple. Like I said, Google is everything. I literally just went to Google and typed in, you know, purple glitter, and there are thousands, if not, you know, millions of pictures to sit and go through of different textures and things like this. What you guys don't understand is I will sit and go through pages and pages of pictures until I get the pretty much the right picture or the perfect picture that I need to go with um, my chip bag. So you got to have patience, but, you know, it'll it'll pay off. And same thing with pink. See, it's got different textures. Um, it's all about what you're looking for. And then you just use that to fill in your words or to pretty much go with, you know, your chip bag. So... Okay, so to go ahead and get started, we're going to add in a shape and we're going to do a triangle. Like I said, these are fairly easy to do. Let me zoom out a little bit so I can see everything at once. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start filling this in. But as you can see, my chip bag has... um this colorful thing and it also has a border so i want to combine those two together to go in here because you can't just slap this up here you know it just it doesn't fit it's a triangle if it was a square or a rectangle it would be perfect so what i'm going to do is i'm going to um combine these two uh together to make one picture that will hopefully work as my fill-in Okay, so I'm going to hold control and click on group so that they're grouped together. Now it's just one one big photo, and then I'm going to right-click it and go to uh, save as picture now. And you go ahead and you save it as uh, whatever, you know, you want to save it as. Then click on this image, format, shape, fill, picture. Now let's see where we just um, save that to. It, okay, here, it, nope, that's not it, right there. And now you see how it has the border. Border is way <laughs> bigger than what I thought, so I'm just gonna go ahead and fix that. I'm gonna go ahead and crop this photo right here down a little bit more. Hold on, hold on honey. Okay, it's about right there, yeah. Now I'm going to group. Now I'm going to save. Save this picture again. And hopefully this time it is the right size. Okay, well you can go ahead and change it, honey. Now let's go ahead and go back here and see if that looks a little bit more presentable. I see you too, what we just had. Bam. Now, see, that's perfect. Perfect. Now, let's change the um the outline to, I don't know, let's say blue. Let's make it a little, the weight of it a little bit thicker. There we go. Um, If you want, you could throw a photo on here. Uh, You could do letters. Um, I'm just going to do a, I'll just do a logo, I guess. I don't know. But the banners are not, um, they're not that hard. They're pretty simple to do. Oh, no, I could throw a lollipop on there. That would be cute. It's a lollipop on the other one. Now, I'm getting rid of this white background. So, I'm click, you know, I have my image highlighted. I'm going to recolor down to set transparent color. And I'm clicking on that white background to get rid of that. And as you can see, that is now in my banner. And then I can group 
these together as well. Now I just got one big one. Copy. And you can get um, three of these on a page at once. Let's flip this around. Just put it right up in there. Yeah. Bam. There we go. Look at that. And we just made a banner. And that was very simple. It's very cute. Oh my God. Do y'all see how it flipped around like that? Uh-uh. Y'all see the banner? Okay. Well, that's another time. But it's still cute. And look at that. Everything is nice. So I'm going to really quickly show you the other way how to make a banner as well. Remember, if you have Publisher, uh, I'm using Publisher right now, you can get a lot of things um, from Publisher. So right here, Event Banner. Now, it's only up there because I just recently clicked on it. So let's just, oh, man, I unplug my laptop. Okay. So let's say, for example, um, I didn't go on that, but you could go up here, I believe, and type on banner, and it should come up. Yeah, see, these are different banners, and let's say I clicked on this and go to create. Now, I've never used these type of banners, but I just want you guys to know that it is there for you to use. Um, if you go to page design, you can change the colors and everything. You highlight it. Let's see. We can go down to uh, font. Let's change the font. Mm, let me see. No, but something fancy. Okay. And as you can see, this uh, the letter is highlighted. So you pretty much got to click on it and move it to get it exactly where you want it on the, what is that, on the block? Let's shrink this down some. 670 right now, so let's go 600. Okay, yeah, see, that's much better. But I just want you guys to know if you have publisher, please utilize the labels and tags that they already have there for you um let me see if i if i click out of this no don't save that okay now let's go to new um i don't know let's see invitations yeah see it has a ton of things if you guys have um publisher you can get these you can um change it around but yeah, those are pretty much two different ways that you can do banners. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. Um, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.